Good afternoon folks and uh, welcome to my fly tying demonstration for this afternoon. The fly I'm going to be tying here is a mayfly pattern. More specifically it's a spent knot pattern uh, which um, is a copy of the um, spent uh, Irish mayfly. I call this fly the uh, Bambi knot. Get the name from the fact that I've used deer belly hair here in the abdomen. Uh, also on the fly we've got a uh, moose mane fibres for the tail. We've got red holographic butt. The thread for the tang of the fly is an 8 odd in uni black. Underneath the uh, fly here we've got a thin strip of uh, black foam which is used to uh, split the wing. The wing for the fly is a badger cock haggle. And towards the front here we have some black arctic fox which is really tied in as a cider. Uh, this fly will primarily be fished uh, sort of late afternoon, evening and well into the dark. Uh, this helps with the visibility of it. The fly itself is tied onto a, a B110 camasan in a size 12. So without further ado, uh, we'll get on to tying the fly. Okay, so the first thing we want to do when uh, constructing this fly uh, is to mount a needle in our uh, vise. I like to use a fairly fine needle, which is uh, nice and strong and not too much flexibility on it. Uh, get a thread and come up towards the point, two or three turns forward, followed by two or three turns back to secure a thread. We take a tag in the thread and keep it out of the way there on a uh, material holder. Now, the body of the fly, as I said earlier, is uh, white deer belly hair. Uh, I would use about 20 fibres for this, which I've just stacked. So bring her, uh, bring her thread forward towards the point. I want to stop maybe a mill, uh, two mills back from the point. Take our deer hair in her uh, right hand and cloak it around the point of the needle. Transfer the deer hair to your left hand and then go around the point of the needle, two loose turns. And tighten up. Okay, I then want to move forward with my thread two or three turns there towards the point of the needle. At this stage I'll push the uh, deer hair back just to see where the point is. We really want to bring that thread as close to the point of the needle as possible. I'm going to get myself another two or three turns in there and pull it tight. Okay, we well then use your finger and push the deer hair back to once again cloak around the hook. Coming in with our thread, come over the top of the deer hair, two turns, push down tight to secure. And that's our deer hair now mounted on the pin. Okay, so the next step is to uh, add the tail to the abdomen. And for this I've used three uh, moose mane fibres. Place them on the top of the, uh, the needle. And we want the tail fibres to probably be about 20 mil long. Over the top, catch in one, two, three turns, and you can see they've naturally splayed out um, the way they would do on the natural. Okay, our red holographic tinsels, next thing we add onto the uh, end of the fly here. And just before we do that, we'll add a little bit of varnish just to give it a bit added security. Just a small dab. So present the uh, tinsel up to the side of the needle. Come in over the top of it, a couple of loose turns. And just put it slowly into position. A couple more turns just to tighten everything up. Then wrap our tinsel around the uh, Deer hair going over the top of the moose mane and secure with two turns. Put everything nice and tight, come in and trim the waist of your tinsel off close to the body of the fly. We then secure that with a whip finish. Trim off the waist. 
Okay, we now want to put the uh, segmentation up the uh, abdomen here. So come in over the top and just secure a thread. I want to make our segments um, quite small, but as we go up the body of the fly, um, increase them. It gives the uh, makes it look more tapered. So let's put the thread on there, secure whip finish. And for this fly, I want to put about five segments in here. I know some fly tires do this slightly different. And where they don't remove the thread from the tan position, but um, I like to do it this way. I find it uh, gives me a, a sturdier fly. Excellent. Might get the odd fibre going forward like that there. Just pull, pull, pull it back again. The finish. Making our segmentation slightly bigger this time. And this will be our last segmentation now. I'm going to put a few extra ops in there since the uh, last segment won't be nice and secure. And again, finish up with a wood finish. Okay, so now uh, remove our thread and just ensure that uh, everything's lined up nice and straight and that the tail, f uh, the tail fibres are actually running along the top of the body, like so. Next step is to take our varnish. And this is where a uh, roll revise comes in handy and just varnish our whip finishes. Uh, I then like to uh, finish off the butt end here with a little bit of our UV resin just to give it some added strength. It also lifts the uh, highlights, helps highlight the, uh, the tinsel, gives it a bit more shine. Head up our torch. Okay. So remove the fly, just scrub it in your forefinger and thumb and slide it off the needle. Okay, get our uh, scissors and uh, trim off trim off the waist ends. And there you have our finished tail for our spent knot. Okay, so to continue the construction of the fly here, place our uh, hook in our vise and uh, whip on our thread. Uh, bring our thread back to a point on the hook shank there, which is just uh, basically uh, above the point of the hook. We take uh, the abdomen of the fly and just the butt ends, making sure that you've got it orientated correctly, the abdomen here, that the uh, tail fibres are running along the top. Catch it in a couple of wraps, put it tight and bind everything down nice and securely. Show sure those wee stumps are tied in. I normally put a couple just in underneath there. Okay. Uh, what we add next is our uh, foam, small strip, probably about a mil wide, and I'll tie that on the underside of the hook shank. 
secure it there with a couple of loose wraps just to start off with. And then work our way back. So it's just sitting below the tie end point for the uh, abdomen and remove our waist. Okay, then come forward. And at this point, we're going to tie in our cider, which is the Arctic Fox. Okay, so we uh, take a look of Arctic Fox. Um, size wise, it's probably when it's compressed between your finger and thumb, it's probably about just less than the thickness of a pencil. Uh, length wise, uh, I'm going to tie it in that's probably about 20 mil long. Um, if it comes up, you maybe tie it in a wee bit long, it's no, no, no drama, we can uh, trim it back. So present it on the top of the shank, the hook, come in with pinch and loop and secure it. And we just want to make sure when we lift the Arctic Fox up, we've left some space uh, at the front of the, the uh, hook behind the eye. And we've done that, so just tighten our turns up, working backwards. Come in with our scissors and uh, remove this Arctic Fox. Want to cut it off at a wee angle. And then we want to bed that all down nice and tightly. Like so. Okay, we now get our, uh, our hackle. Tied on by the stalk just in front of where the ab abdomen is. Secure it in. Cut off our waist. And then touch and turns, work our, work our way forward to the, the point just behind the uh, Arctic Fox. Just position your thread there. Obviously we judge the uh, length of the hackle here. We want it to be the uh, length of the wings of the spent fly or thereabouts it's just landing on the top of the water so bring that right up behind the arctic fox and secure and remove just the tip of the hackle okay for the uh, last few steps to finish the fly off if we put our uh, arctic fox up directly to the hook and build up the head just to push everything back. We then turn our fly over in the vise and bring our foam through. Try and position this so you can see what I'm doing. Bring our foam through like this and catch it in and that will then um, Split the hackle underneath, just tighten it up. Just be careful of this foam, uh, if you go too uh, aggressive with your thread turns, you can actually cut it very easily. Remove your uh, waist. Okay. Come to the front, build up that head and underneath. The butser of the uh, Arctic Fox gets starting nice and proud. I know what finishing to. Finish the fly off. I then ensure that this uh, Arctic Fox uh, sits in the position we want. Um, what I do is a little bit of uh, UV resin around the head and push it all back. Just hold the, uh, the fox back until the resin sets. See, it's come back lovely.
Okay, you could leave that uh, Arctic Fox length it is. I generally like to trim it down close to the uh, length of our haggles. Like so. And that, folks, is the finished uh, Bambi knot. Nice flight of tie. Um, great flight of fish. Had a lot of success on it, particularly on uh, the Irish locks of Loch Erne and Loch Sheelan. And thank you, and take care, and stay safe.